Women make up half of Ohio's population, but men still dominate the state's political landscape in 2017. It's not a problem exclusive to Ohio. Men outnumber women in elected office across the country, on the state and federal level. Meet Congresswoman Marcy Kaptur of Toledo. She entered the U.S. House of Representatives in 1983. Kaptur will become the longest serving woman in the House in March. In her 30 plus years in office, she's seen things change for women. But women's numbers in politics still do not equal men's. Not even close. I think that many of the issues that confront working women uh, have been channeled because of women coming uh, to Congress. Or, um, for example, the trafficking of women uh, around our country. That issue wouldn't have reached the level that it has in terms of buoyancy had it not been for women. And what I find is when women are around the table, the discussion broadens. It is imbued with a more comprehensive set of thoughts and also a probing deeper into what are the roots of this situation, whatever the situation might be. Many years ago, a senator from Maine, Margaret Chase Smith, said to me as I was interviewing her about her life in Congress, uh, she said, uh, the progress is slow, but it's steady. And I guess that remains true today. But you have women leaders come to see me from all over the world, young women who are uh, trying to gain the self-confidence to run. And somehow, I think, talking by, to someone who's been through it, they gain confidence. Here, another change I've seen, somewhat. Um, when you speak in Congress, you speak at a microphone, and people wander around the floor and everything. And it was particularly bad for women. You weren't listened to initially. It took about 10 years before the room would fall silent if you were trying to say something. And uh, there's a greater respect uh, and feeling of equality for those women members, I think, than initially. Though I have to say, for most of the men that I worked with, even early in my career in Congress, I was treated very fairly.